As a captain with nearly three decades of experience at the Lahaina Boat Harbor, Chrissy Lovett has among the most unique perspectives from the night the flames swept through town. This is 80 mile an hour winds. The fire flames, it was like a flamethrower. It wasn't like a vertical moving fire. I mean, it was reaching out at us. And by the time I got done with all this, I looked like I had worked in a coal mine. Lovett spent the night at the harbor initially trying to save three of her boats, which ultimately were destroyed. When I saw Fleetwoods on fire, I knew the town was done for because there were no firefighters. Um, what I understand now, the water was cut off. People in the harbor trying to hose down their boat, they just had a trickle of water. There was, there was no chance for people to defend themselves yeah, yeah. from this fire. By 10 o'clock, she says the entire harbor and all of Front Careful Street right was engulfed. There. So there she, her real. wife, and a couple of friends grabbed a skiff yeah. easy to maneuver in the area. We heard a call over the radio that they're looking for any assistance because they had 50 to 100 people in the water. And by this time, it's dark, nonstop explosion. So Lashana, Emma, and myself, we sat down and we said, we have an unreliable dinghy motor, but let's try and help these people. They pushed through as best as they could through the smoke and poor visibility, ultimately locating two young children and bringing them to a Coast Guard rescue boat. Clear. But says the kids were eventually reunited with their parents, and they spent hours looking for more people to rescue. We were not able to find survivors any more than the kids. Um, and if we miss people, I'm, I'm so sorry if I missed you. You know, we were trying so hard to find you guys, but there was not, you know, it was like in a fog. It was just so much smoke. Because they didn't know the extent of the damage, they stayed along the coastline and didn't get back on land till the next evening. While she no doubt saved lives, the pain from that night is still so raw. It's really hard to handle to know that people that I know got trapped by the fire and didn't make it. It's, it's really, really traumatizing. And, um, you know, and I'm just, I, I wish I could have done more. Um, to help the situation.